Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mailbox. I'm back from Hawaii. I'm super stoked to be back behind the microphone talking to you guys. Uh, but most of all, I'm just excited to be talking about Black Ops 3 Zombies, baby. Uh, the hype continues. And today I've got three things that I bet you didn't catch uh, in the Shadows of Evil trailer the first time you watched it. Uh, that's right. It's been almost a month since the trailer was released and uh, there's still things that people haven't noticed. But if you did happen to catch any of these that I'm about to mention, I do give you mad props because you really have to slow down the the trailer and look closely. Uh, so we'll start off with tentacles. I mean, we've all seen tentacles in the trailer. Yeah, of course, we saw them on that huge beast, but it actually looks like tentacles are a much more important aspect uh, of the theme than we originally thought. I mean, take a look at this poster. It seems normal, right? Well, once you start looking for them, it's easy to notice that there's tentacles all over this image. We have some at the bottom kind of reaching up and grabbing Jessica, our femme fatale. Then if you look towards the top, we see more tentacles, but this time electric. Uh, it definitely reminds me of that gumball power-up that we see in the gameplay trailer. So that's that when it comes to this poster, but moving on to this other one, we have Nero, the magician, of course. Uh, and once again, there are the tentacles. It even looks like he may be surrounded by teeth, as if he's standing in a mouth. Uh, so you might think, oh, they're just teasing the new zombie boss that we saw, you know, the Nova 6 looking thing uh, that we saw towards the end of the trailer. Uh, maybe so, but if that's the case, then they are really teasing it, man. Because uh, check this out, it looks like we get a glimpse of the Easter egg in the trailer or something. Uh, you know, when that guy rises above the table and just blows up. Uh, well, on that table, we see this skull. And what do you know? It has freaking tentacles on it, dude. Uh, WTF. So maybe this is a bigger part of the map than we originally thought. Uh, it's all over the promotional stuff, and as you just saw, it's going to be a big part of the map design as well. Uh, but we need to move on and talk about this shot because it's pretty interesting. You guys know that we saw the magician prepare his partner and then throw his knife at the beginning of the trailer. Uh, then at the end of the trailer, we get a repeat of the same shot, right? Wrong. This isn't him throwing the knife that we saw before. This is him throwing something else. Uh, and if you pause right there, it looks to be some type of orb, uh, which is just weird, man. We know that there's an intense backstory behind Nero, the magician. I made a whole video about it. Really interesting. And I think at one point I was discussing this with Mr. Rafa Waffles, and he noticed that Nero might be throwing this orb at a picture of himself. Uh, at least that's what we see right there. But I don't know about you guys. I always just thought that this was a replay of him throwing the knife, and it took me a while to actually notice that that wasn't the case. Anyway, the last thing that I want to mention is this guy, the guy that we see blow up above the table. Uh, we aren't sure who it is, of course, it's just as simple as that. There's no way of knowing. Uh, they don't show his face and all we hear from him is a scream. Uh, well, if you look at this shot, it seems as though Jessica is dancing for a man who looks very similar. And uh, right when this dude's about to explode, the trailer cuts to Jessica turning her head. Uh, not sure if that's a coincidence or maybe it's the same guy. There's also slight glimpses at men in the background of the fighting scene too. Of course, they could very well be spectators of the fight, uh, but this man right here is undoubtedly important. Unfortunately, I don't think that we're going to find out his identity uh, for quite some time, but it's always fun to speculate. But that's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. It's always interesting to find these small little details in the trailer, especially after they've been out for so long, because uh, they remind us of how much depth the zombie storyline actually has. Uh, plus, it really just hypes me up for November. I don't know about you guys, uh, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, I always invite you to smack that like button in the face. It uh, helps to support my channel and it makes me feel a lot better about my body. Wait, shit, that's Instagram. Never mind. Just kidding. See you guys next time. It's been Ellen. Oh, you're not subscribed. Perfect. I'm looking for more test subjects.